Hello everyone, long time no see. I was dressed up because I was gonna go to Home Depot and it's so nice out. We're supposed to have amazing weather this week. It's supposed to be 78 next Monday. So today's only like 66. But I remember last year I started a mural on my shed just over my pumpkin patch and it was gonna have pumpkins and stuff. I was gonna make it over the garden wall themed. I know I'm just like jumping Whoa. into this, but the kids are going to their dad's this weekend. So I thought today would be the perfect day, perfect weather to finish my mural or at least start it because it's like barely started. I'm actually going to paint over what I did last year. So I got dressed up to go to Home Depot, but now I'm thinking I'm just going to reuse the paint that I used in my kitchen, the white paint, because I accidentally bought that in cabinet paint anyway. So I feel like that's going to be somewhat water resistant, but the internet is telling me I definitely need exterior paint. But I think I'm going to try it anyway, because worse comes to worse, if it starts peeling and flaking, I'll just probably repaint it next summer anyway and just have like an ongoing, like fun project where I can like repaint murals in my backyard. So my idea for the mural is a farm fresh sign or a farmer's market, something like that, that matches the garden that's in the backyard. And I think I'm going to add pumpkins and flowers and I'm not the best painter. I think I'm like mediocre at best. I don't feel like it comes naturally to me, but if I really, really try very hard, I can paint some like nice things, I think. So I'm gonna try that today and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I have a bunch of new videos up on my garden channel right now, but I have a lot of things started. 28 strawberry plants, a bunch of stuff back here, but I'm going for like whimsical, cute vibes back here. So this is the wall that I'm gonna be painting. That's the pumpkin I did last year. I think I'm gonna start by painting this whole thing white. Hopefully it'll dry so that way this evening I can paint some of the other stuff. But this is what it looks like right now and I definitely have to mow my lawn. I also just want to point out because every time I talk about expanding my garden, people are like, but where are the kids going to play? They have so much space that way. And that's actually the space that's shaded out in the summer by all the big trees. So it's just like a much nicer area for them to play in. This is definitely not how you should do this because I'm getting stick in this paint, but it's gonna be painting an outdoor wall, which is gonna get dirty anyway, so I don't really care. Excuse me, we're not gonna be doing that, thanks. Two random kids just hopped my fence and ran through my yard, so that was cool. Now normally I wouldn't care about this at all, but I literally just planted a raspberry bush where they jumped over my fence and I don't want them to step on it. What is that? A little red, yellow flower with petals. That's very pretty. Wow. All right, now the fun part slash also my least favorite part is penciling out what I'm gonna be drawing. So all I know for sure is I want pumpkins in this corner because this is mainly the pumpkin patch that I'm sitting in right now, getting my butt incredibly filthy, by the way. So I'm gonna do a big pumpkin here and a little pumpkin here, and I'm just gonna start with some acrylic paint and just do a base layer of orange. This would be much, much easier if I had a bigger paintbrush, but I don't have any right now, and I don't know when Nick is coming to get the kids, if I'm being honest. So I'm gonna wait until he comes to go to like Hobby Lobby or something, but for now, <laughs> this is what we're working with. All right, everybody, Nick and the kids are pulling out right now behind me, and that means I get to go run some errands. I hate going out on Saturdays because everyone's out on Saturdays. I like to go while everyone's in school and at work, but I have to go to Hobby Lobby because I want to get some paint markers. It's proved very difficult to do straight lines on such a textured surface that is my shed. And also there's grooves in between every board that I have to like get the paint in. And I really need bigger paint brushes because all I have are those tiny little detail brushes that you saw me doing the pumpkin with. And it's very difficult. It's just time consuming. And the acrylic paint that I'm using dries like instantly because it's hot outside. So I need those things. I'm gonna hopefully just go get all that now. Maybe I'll pick up lunch for myself. That seems like a nice mommy day off thing. But also I know as soon as I get home with the craft supplies, I'm gonna want to start painting immediately. We'll see how that goes. Holy bejeebas, y'all. Hobby Lobby was packed and I definitely picked up way too much stuff, but I found this shiny paint. I didn't have any shiny paint and it was on clearance for $9.99, originally 23. So I'm gonna definitely see if I can add some gold details, but I'm definitely getting ahead of myself as well. 
Okay, we're not starting off that strong. I just looked at some of the stuff that I bought. I wanted to get some paint pens for doing the outlines and stuff. Like I said, these have like pictures of car windows and stuff on them. So I think I got the wrong thing, but I'm gonna try and make it work. If it's not like waterproof, I think I'll just add a sealant. I have a spray can of like sealant stuff. So we're gonna try this anyway, because I'm not going back to Hobby Lobby. It was packed. All right, paint basket, new palette. We're coming back to the pumpkin. It's gonna look so much better when it has some shading and highlights to it, I hope. I got a little bit lazy and I bought a pre-mixed kind of burnt orange brownish color to do the shading because I don't feel like coming back to this and continuing to mix the colors that I'm gonna need for this, but this looks like it should work. All right, it's starting to look like a pumpkin. I can't tell through the viewfinder, but it's coming along. All right, I'm literally laying in the dirt right now so you guys can see it kind of far away. I don't know why I don't just get up. <laughs> All right, it's important to note that this is a mural, so it's mostly gonna be far away. So you're not gonna see like all the streaky details. So I can really like contour it as much as I want, but I'm kind of a perfectionist and I'm trying to work with the lines in the shed and it's going all right. Okay, I lied. I'm gonna touch it again because I wanna add some highlights because I remembered I bought the shiny paints and this is like a pearl white. So I don't know how this is gonna go. This is gonna either gonna make it look really good or it's gonna ruin it. I don't think I like that. I wish you guys could hear my internal dialogue as I'm screwing up this pumpkin that I should have walked away from. Okay, for some contrast, I decided this little pumpkin is gonna be blue, even though I'm not growing any blue pumpkins myself this year. Um, the seeds were sold out. I totally would if I could get my hands on them. And I'm painting with my left hand right now just so I can film this for you, but you get the picture. I'm painting this blue. Okay, this pumpkin we actually do have to wait to finish. I'll leave it alone because the iridescent paint that I bought on clearance was on clearance for a reason. It's super streaky and dries really slow. But while I wasn't filming, I did pencil in a vine. I'm gonna have like greenery, like all down this way and all over there. I'm gonna do strawberries in that corner. And then the center is gonna be my sign. I haven't decided. I think it's gonna say farm fresh. All right, everybody, the sun is setting and I'm honestly quite cold, so we are done. For the day, this is how much we got done. It's not much at all, but hopefully tomorrow will be better. Good morning, it is the next day. I'm still in my PJs, but today is my last day I can work on this project before the kids get home. And it's supposed to be 75 later, but it's only 50 now. So I'm gonna bundle up so I can get as much done as possible. I cannot believe I thought I was gonna be able to crank out an entire mural in one afternoon and I only got two pumpkins done. So today I'm gonna try outlining more things and then adding details later. But yeah, as always, we'll see how it goes. I actually woke up and put makeup on this morning because I felt like it would be like an appetizer to getting into painting, putting on a little eyeshadow. Plus I was looking at my eyeshadow brushes and I'm thinking I might sacrifice my eyeliner brush as a little detail brush for adding in little like stems and stuff for the plants. We'll see, I don't know. All right, here's the setup this morning. I just started a mushroom. I don't want to add too many because I feel like if you add too many mushrooms you cross the boundaries between whimsical and trippy. I don't want to go that direction. So I added a couple more blades of grass. I'm going to add greenery as I see fit. That's what I'm working on right now. I'm waiting for the red to dry so I can add the little polka dots. There, he's done. There's a woodpecker up there. I love, I'm not even listening to music because the sounds of the birds is just so pretty. Bear with me on the blue blob. It's gonna be a hydrangea, I hope. Update, last update before I add the leaves. All right, added another hydrangea, some little blue flowers and some black eyed Susans. It's so hot out here and I need to leave soon. All right, I've sunburned and I have to go get the kids. So let's show you everything that I finished today. And this is probably gonna be a part two video, if not like a part three, four, five. <laughs> but I'll show you guys now. We have pumpkin, pumpkin, mushroom, some grass, black-eyed Susans, hydrangea, hydrangea, flower that I hate, random leaf, and your golden, the strawberry, and a heck of a lot more white wall.